y'all. <laughs> Today I'm having some grocery store chicken, fried chicken, cold. <laughs> Don't care. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, yeah, tonight I'm going to be soaking some pinto beans. Uh, yeah, I'm making um, pinto beans with ham hocks tomorrow in the crock pot. Yeah, and uh, some collard greens. And I'm going to cook them with some salt pork. Yeah, make them southern style. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little quiet because Thomas is sleeping. Hungry hippie. Um, yeah, so I got me some lunch today. Figured I would just chow down and share it with you guys. Um, not dressed up, no makeup. Uh, not feeling super great today, but I didn't have anything planned. So, I'm just hanging out. I may not talk very much, but I wanted to give y'all a little intro. But I got my spoon. Because not only do I have this cold fried chicken, because it's early, they didn't have any hot fried chicken at the store yet. Ooh, and I got my Louisiana hot sauce. So, uh, most people like Tabasco, but um, I like Louisiana or Crystal usually. I got the deviled egg potato salad and the classic coleslaw. Obvious how open this. I'm just gonna pop it open. Mmm. Mmm. I thought that would be good. I love deviled eggs. I love potato salad. So, mmm. Combining the two sounded like a winner to me. some for somebody I guess Tater salad. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, okay. Probably took too much of that, but damn, that's a fat day. <laughs> yeah, every day is a fat day here, but I've been wanting some chicken. Okay, let me get a taste of this. Thing that's missing is some good baked beans. You know, home style southern baked beans. Mmm. 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 
Teeny tiny joker. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I wasn't expecting it to be crisp or nothing. Nope, of course not. Hmm. I wanted some chicken. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I know it'd probably be better with a microphone <laughs> for that ASMR effect, but uh, I do have one. Mm. I should probably hook it up, but. Mm. Mm. Then y'all would get all these mmms and all my labored breathing sounds and wheezing too. <laughs> mm. Mm. Dang it. I'm sitting here using a regular spoon. And I forgot I just got my wooden utensils. Oh, well, not wooden, but bamboo utensils in the mail. Mm. Mm. I'll try to remember when I do my, um, my beans dinner. Mm. Mm. I'll be careful with the scraping. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, just chew into the bones and cartilage. I don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. Calcium <laughs> and uh, collagen. my favorite <laughs> 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 Way back in the old days, okay? <laughs> and I say the old days because this is going to be a story that my grandfather used to tell me. His, uh, his parents were sharecroppers in South Carolina. And it was back in the 1930s, I guess. And, um, and back then, I don't know if it was on Sundays, but, you know, after, after church or whatever, or if it was during the week, but the pastor used to go around and have dinner with the different families and whatnot. And my grandfather was one of 11 brothers and sisters. Well, back then, you know, families were very, very prolific. Because number one, they didn't have TV, they didn't have social media, you know, they didn't have a whole hell of a lot to do, so you know, they were kind of bored, so. They kept busy. <laughs> and, and also, the more kids you had, the more help you had out in the field, basically. <laughs> there were a lot of reasons that you had a bunch of children. You know, I mean, they kind of believed wholeheartedly in that, you know, go forth and multiply thing. You know, be, be fruitful. Mmm. So basically, they were kind of, you know, they, they were kind of poor, obviously. And so I didn't have a lot of food to share as it was. But then the preacher was coming. So they killed a chicken. And they were having chicken for dinner. And I'm just going to say Sunday dinner because... Now that's when my family usually had a nice big chicken. It was for Sunday dinner. Mm. Mm. And so Paul, he got his piece and the pastor took his piece. Well, I don't know, maybe they gave the pastor a first pick because he's a guest. Who knows? But normally the head of the house usually gets his cut first and then so on down the line from the oldest boy to the youngest mm. well and I don't know where in that sequence that ma got her food I don't really remember how the story went but you know uh, she got her food before the youngest kid you know, that's the only way this story works mm. Mm. 
but I think my grandfather was like second to the last of the youngest. I think. <laughs> but the youngest, they ended up getting like the chicken feet. And you know there's not much on the chicken feet. It's generally just a little bit of chicken skin, a little bit of cartilage. <laughs> but as all the children had grabbed their little hunk of meat and got down to the last little child, you know, and the preacher's sitting there, you know, near the head of the table, and he's watching all of this, you know, all satisfied and, you know, happy with how everything's going. And the last little fella, he grabs his little chicken foot and he looks at it so happy. And he's like, poor little chicken foot, won't scratch in my chick no more. <laughs> and just as matter of factly, you know, because the chickens, they, they scratch outside in the dirt and whatever else is out there. And that's what they eat. I eat the bugs and the junk and whatever kind of filth is out in the ground. <laughs> so basically, he just cursed in front of the preacher. So For some reason, as a child, that story just tickled the hell out of me. <laughs> My grandfather, he had a million of them. <laughs> Poor little chicken foot. <laughs> tell you <clears throat> my granddaddy would have been a YouTube star he was such a character <clears throat> he had hours and hours and hours of stories and he was a real storyteller He'd have you rolling. Yeah, he lived a hard life. His daddy was really hard on him. And he was kind of his uh, mama's favorite, though. Mm. His daddy would kick him down in the field and tell him he'd never amount to nothing. And then he grew up to be a top man in his company. A mechanical superintendent he was the boss he hired he fired he didn't put up with nothing from nobody <clears throat> was like God to me. I had so much respect for him. Up until I became a snot-nosed teenager. <laughs> but then after he passed away and and I was crestfallen. And you look back on things that you missed out on. You know, and you think about on all those stories, it's like, man, I should have been sitting there with a tape recorder. It's like, how am I going to remember all those stories? And all those things that he had to tell me and teach me. And it's like, listen to your elders, kids. 
and I, I didn't say I'm, you know, I say kids, but, you know, we are 20-somethings, 30-somethings that still have parents and grandparents around. Sit with them. Listen to them. They have worlds and worlds of things to teach you. You know? Man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. More regrets. But, <clears throat> you know, I spent my early childhood up until I was too damn heavy sitting on my granddaddy's knee. <laughs> with my arms flung around his neck you know, telling him he's the greatest granddaddy in the whole world <laughs> and he was too he really was mm. and I listened to everything he had to tell me and I spent lots and lots of time out in his tool shed with him building things fixing things and I was out in the yard Raking leaves, cutting the grass, building stuff, <laughs> tending the garden. I was out hunting with him, fishing for many, many, many hours. And I always caught more fish than he did. So maybe that was by design. I don't know. <laughs> Good old granddaddy. When I was really little, when I was first figuring out what to call him, I called him Pop. And it was Pop and Nanny. <laughs> I really couldn't have asked for a better childhood. You know, we travel around in the motorhome and, and go camping. And I've told a few people in comments about things like this, but man, raccoons are crazy. <laughs> yeah, we got run back in the trailer by a gang of wild raccoons once. And we started feeding them hot dogs out by the fire one night. And they just, and it's like, a few went off and then a whole bunch came back. And we're like, whoa. <laughs> and we went into the camper. And they were like climbing all over the camper and banging on it. And they're like, bring us some damn hot dogs. Mmm. <laughs> It was a little scary to be honest. Mm -mm. No, don't feed the raccoons. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh God, he told me stories about bringing my mama and my aunt. Which if, if y'all have paid any attention y'all would know that my grandparents adopted me so my mama and my aunt are actually my sisters those hillbillies <laughs> I love it <laughs> but it's by adoption so it's not as weird as all that but he took them to Yellowstone I didn't get to go to Yellowstone I didn't get horses, but yeah, they were teenagers when they got to go, so they were kind of like, meh, who cares? I would have loved it. Um, yeah, my mama got chased by a bear in Yellowstone. She got chased plumb up a tree. 
which bears climb trees, so <laughs> that wasn't smart. She was very, very lucky. She was lucky. <clears throat> and they had some old, what is that, 8 millimeter film of stuff like that? And yeah, they had film, um, I don't know if it was from that part of Yellowstone, but they were somewhere around there. And they had a bear that was, uh, that would like pick up bottles of beer and drink it and stuff like that. Which, you know, that's not cool, you know. Animals that smoke and drink. <laughs> Yeah, you see the smoking monkeys and the drinking bears and yeah, it's it's funny at first and then you're like, oh, that's kind of cruel. No, I don't know. <laughs> My opinion. But it was like in the 60s or something like that. Mm. Mm. Oh, I've been listening to the cars today. Mm. And, um, yeah, Benjamin Orr passed away in the um, year 2000, and Rick Ocasek, he passed away in 2019. And, so many great music artists are gone, you know. It's like music that I really enjoy. <clears throat> I know there's always new music coming in. But they say when you get older, <clears throat> that your brain doesn't really appreciate new music anymore it doesn't get the same like dopamine hit or whatever is it used to that you still derive more pleasure from like older music hmm. I don't know I try to always expose myself to new things <laughs> I said expose myself <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, here I am with no napkins again. Okay, candy. Let me make this a habit. Mm. I never have napkins over here. You'd think as much fast food as we eat, I would have a stack over here, but I don't. I say that, but that's not really true. No, we haven't. I think the last fast food we had was Del Taco. And I got some tacos. Damn my table. Quit moving. I got some tacos. I got like three tacos and what? Mmm. I can't remember. It wasn't that long ago. But I didn't get any, nap any napkins. Mm. Another thought. I'm going to save those breasts. I love breasts. Just not chicken ones. Mm. <laughs> They're too dry. Mm -hmm. But Susan likes them. She'll probably heat her chicken. Mm. And there's two, so. Mm. Mm. 
and those crunching bones. I D A G F. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that right? Yeah, I did. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used my hot sauce. Mm -hmm. It's just there to look pretty. Mm -hmm. That chicken tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Could it be better? Sure. Would I rather be eating Popeyes? Sure. Mm. But I was ordering friggin' ham hocks from Albertsons. I wanted some chicken. Mmm. <clears throat> oh man, yeah, moving in stereo. That scene from uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And I watched it again today. You know, Phoebe Cates. And it's not even that big of a deal. But man, to a young, impressionable person, it's just so sexy. <laughs> and the water just like flowing off her body and stuff. <sighs> Lord, okay. Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Candy's having a moment. So gross. <laughs> but that song definitely made that scene. And then Brad in the bathroom, man. Woo! Okay, and you have like a dual situation going on there. And I was like, my brain is firing. <laughs> like, Fast Times at Ridgemont High was a very, very sexy movie. For the age range that I was when it came out, I can't even remember what that was, but... <clears throat> I think it was like early 80s, I'm not for sure though. Are you kidding? Yeah, me too.
There's always so much music in my head. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I'll be happy when at some point there's a mind machine meld that happens and when you think of certain things like say a song pops into your head and it's playing and you're like just getting snippets of a song <clears throat> and then you can just say you know cue this or cue that and you can just start it playing in the background. Like really playing. Like the whole song. I don't know. You could do that on your phone. <clears throat> and you just say. You know. Google let's just do this. Or do that. Or, or Siri. Or whoever. <clears throat> But I'm talking about like instant, like think it. To where it doesn't actually interrupt someone else. And it's like an internal jukebox that plays the actual song, <clears throat> not just snippets. You know, where you can actually access the entire song, full information about the song, about the artists. You know, you're like accessing freaking wiki pages and stuff. is probably all greasy. <laughs> I don't care. Mm. Mm. Well, I obviously care, but what am I going to do about it? <clears throat> uh, I'm obviously not getting up to go get napkins. And they're like right over there. I'm looking at a stack over there. 
Mm. When I get done here, I'll go thief some. Mm. People have been getting mad at me lately for having my videos go pretty long. Look like I do. Don't watch it that long. When you get tired of watching, just cut it off. <laughs> you know, it's pretty simple. And you know, I watch a little bit, fast forward, watch a little bit more, fast forward. Watch what you want. You know, I'm not I'm not forcing you. Mm. <clears throat> you know, it takes me however long it takes me. I'm just chilling. Mm. You know, you know what they say, you know. It's not the destination, it's the journey. some mukbangs and I watch the beginning and then I'll just jump straight to the end and see how much somebody ate. I ain't gonna lie. It's like did they finish? Oh my god. <laughs> and once in a while if I really really enjoy what I'm watching <clears throat> or if I enjoy the particular conversation I'll hang around for the whole show. And it just depends. It depends on how much time I have. But I'm not going to get mad at a person because they spend an hour with me. Mm. I mean, if that's your deal, then bye. <laughs> <clears throat> But for those of you who stick around, hey, I love you. <laughs> now for those who just hang around for the good parts, I love you too. <laughs> I love you all, honest to goodness. You know, no matter what you're here for. Mm. I'm just glad any of you spend any time with me at all. Oh, who am I? <laughs> mm. oh, okay, I'm full. Get in there, chicken, chicken. Okay. I got my chicken fingers. My chicken fingers. Excuse me. Oh. I should have got a Diet Coke. Not a Diet Coke. A Coke Zero. Oh, excuse me. I need a burp big. Whew. Yeah, I ate a mango a few days ago. And I burped so big I scared I scared Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not normal. 
<laughs> it's not normal. Because <laughs> I put extra emphasis and effect on it. And I did the whole like, like T-Rex, like. Uh. <laughs> I mean, uh. Susan looked over and she saw it and she said, oh my god, it looked like a demon just left your body. <laughs> yeah, she, she said, she said, if, if I could have taken a video of that and added a, an effect of a demon leaving someone's body from the, the Supernatural show, it would have been awesome. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, the mango man. Whew. I love mangoes. But Lord, whew. Cassie. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to down a Coke Zero. Whew. Okay. Well, y'all, <laughs> after all that. I thank you so much for joining me, uh, even on a not so pretty day. <laughs> it's a pretty day, I'm just not so pretty, I guess. Um, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it today. <sighs> yeah, I got up this morning, I wanted to jump in the shower, but the people came over to start working on the, um, the, uh, yeah, like security lights that, that do the whole like uh, tell us when people are coming and going and we can, like talk to them through the you know like a speaker thingy it's neat it's kind of neat but uh they had put it up too high so they had to lower it so they came over early to do that so it just kind of threw my whole day off but i'm gonna shower later tonight because i had to get up early and you know, do makeup and stuff because we're going out to the movies. Did I mention that? No, I didn't mention that. But yeah, we're going out to see Birds of Prey tomorrow morning. And we're going to the 10 o'clock show. So I'm going to shower tonight. So, um, be semi fresh. I'm going to freshen up in the morning and do my makeup and hair. <clears throat> Uh, so, <laughs> that's me. Mm. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even that high. So, <laughs> if y'all are thinking I'm high, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just high on chicken. <laughs> I got a chicken high going on. <sighs> but, I love y'all very much. And thank you so much for spending time with me. And I will see you again soon. Mm.